but I um, have been working in Isla Vista since 2004, and I've been working in, and I kind of see Isla Vista as a, a, a an adjacent public research laboratory. And I've done a number of projects with my students over the years, including uh, participation from geography. Very quickly, um, I, what I'm showing you is a proposal I wrote to the National Endowment for the Arts for a, a what's called Lightworks. And you'll see this is the campus. This is the um, uh, Isla Vista, and where I'm locating it is right in the center there is one of the uh, many 25 parks that are in Isla Vista, People and Perfect Park. Okay, and you know, what those parks represent, Anascoil, People's and Perfect Park, is actually the very center of town, and there's about six acres of land here that's open land, it's preserved park land. This is an image of Isla Vista in 1971. Uh, and it was happening. It was, and this is taken by a local resident. He's in his 70s, Roger Lagerquist. And um, it was a, it was a place to go. It was a destination, as you know. There's lots of history. This is it today. So what happened, and and why is this um, over time? Um, well, uh, in my embedded life, uh, to and from campus and living in Isla Vista, I actually live in Isla Vista. Um, it became very clear to me um, with a couple of experiments we did in the fall that. Uh, there's absolutely no lighting in the public spaces whatsoever. There's a few street lights, uh, but most of the public parks, most of the public places are not illuminated. What is illuminated are poorly lit streets and uh, very well lit liquor stores. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, many years ago, in 2010, I actually worked with a senior class, uh, it was Martin Robles' geography class, uh, at a, our urban planner, Sita Raghupati and I, we approached them and asked them to work locally in Isla Vista on a GIS project. And one of the groups did a food in Isla Vista. And one of the interesting things about this is, if you look at pricing between Goleta, the campus, and Isla Vista, you're going to see that uh, eggs and milk are almost more than, or double or more than Goleta or uh, campus and booze is cheaper. So I guess what that says to me is, um, you know, there's a lot of factors that are playing into why Isla Vista has the reputation it does and why it's played out the way it does. Um, the other thing that occurred to me as I looked at this dark park in the fall uh, was we have one of the most noted technologies with our LED Nobel Laureate Materials Research Lab um, with uh, Shuji Nakashima, and it seemed to me that why could we not take the, the uh, you know, opportunity of our research and bring it into a local community? Did you pull this one? Okay. So one of the things in this proposal is to actually bring uh, artistic and creative public lighting to Isla Vista to sort of demonstrate the capacity for art and lighting to actually illuminate through LED or technology. Um, this campus. And so um, this is actually a proposal that would bring a lot of interest and energy. And we've been experimenting in the fall and with Isla Vista First Fridays, proving that 500 people have come. And I guess I leave you with, what's the price of a good time? Damage control after or participatory um, opportunities? And we have Deltopia coming up very soon.